A Detroit police officer is recovering after being shot by a suspect with a sawed off shotgun. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. The prognosis is good for the DPD sergeant whose injuries doctors describe as non life threatening. He was pursuing the suspect at a gas station on the city's east side when the shots were fired. Nick Monticelli joins us now live with the very latest and Nick, I understand you just spoke with the suspect's father. Right. Good afternoon. Yes, it was an interesting interview to talk to the suspect's father who is pulling no punches. He fully blames his son for what happens and he is making no excuses. In the meantime, the sergeant who was shot is a 17 year veteran of the Detroit Police Department. He is in St. John Hospital. Now he will make a full recovery. Through the years, I kind of figured something like this was going to happen, but I just didn't know who when or where. Sterling Cromer is the father of the 21 year old suspect who has not been formally charged yet. But as you heard, he is not surprised his son is accused of shooting a Detroit police officer, but not before carjacking and shooting another victim and shooting his own father. That happened on Sunday. Cromer says there was no argument, no disagreement, nothing. We were so busy talking that we weren't paying no attention to what he's doing. I mean, because who expected uh, your child just come downstairs and shoot you. The gun used was a sawed off shotgun, the same one used in the carjacking afterwards and when the Detroit police sergeant was shot the next night. Police found him because relatives tracked the 21 year old to this Coney Island. The sergeant was shot in his right shoulder. He will recover. A family member who did not want to be on camera apologizes. I'm just very sorry. I'm just very sorry that my family had to be do something like that to an officer. I, but I knew I told the officer when they were here yesterday, I said, please uh, be careful. That I apologize for what my son did, did to him, and I hope that he have a speedy recovery. Now back out here live, that was a heartfelt apology from the father. We are joined now live by the Detroit Police Chief James Craig as he talks to the rest of the media here in Detroit. Chief, uh, the sergeant we know now is Sergeant Ken Style. Can you tell us more about how he's doing and some of the background on how long he's been with your department? Uh, Ken is still recovering. Uh, certainly we're very fortunate. Uh, I had a chance to talk to him last night. I'm going to check on him again today. Uh, but certainly this is a serious incident. Anytime a police officer sustains a gunshot wound, and he did. It's serious. Uh, the good news certainly is that we're able to talk to him. He's going to recover. Uh, suspects in custody. And certainly, as you pointed out, I applaud remarks by his dad, who says his son needs to be held accountable. Uh, he's going to be held accountable. Uh, we will we'll assure you of that. Um, this cannot continue. We cannot have people believing it's OK to shoot at police officers. That just doesn't work real well. Right, we'll continue our conversation in just a moment. Thank you very much. In the meantime, Rhonda, we're going to toss it back to you in the studio. We'll talk to more, more about the chief, about the suspect's history, what kind of criminal history he has. I was told by his family that he's got a history of uh, carrying a weapon and arson. We're live here at St. John Hospital. Nick Monticelli, Local 4.